What's going on, everybody? So today is Monday, August the 23rd or 4th. I don't know. It's Monday, and uh, it's an exciting day. We've got four pallets coming in today from a new supplier. Same program that we have been getting the Amazon overpacks, uh, but we got it from a brand new uh, liquidator called Reed's Wholesale. Hi there, my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling, natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe, and come on in. Did somebody from our YouTube audience, one of you guys, let us know about this place. It's in Kansas City, Kansas. They have the same pallets that we've been ordering from another company, but they have them for cheaper. And we actually bought four pallets for $325 a piece. So it was only $1,300. We were paying $525 for the pallets from a different one. So we got it for $200 cheaper, uh, which is amazing. And they're shipping from Kansas City versus Nebraska. So we're paying a lot less in shipping. So I'm so excited about it. And then even more excitement, I've got some new gear coming for the camera today. I've got a little two-handed camera holder so that we can film uh, our unboxings a little bit differently, kind of like how we used to do it, where you know one of us would hold the camera and record the other person doing it. Uh, we're wanting to get back. I've been wanting to get back to that for a while. Uh, and then uh, just because it shows the item better. Uh, but we've been getting lots of feedback from unboxing so that people want to see more of the item. So I thought it'd be a good time to do it. And we've got some new microphones ordered, some external, uh, not external, I guess wireless microphones, lapel mics that we'll be able to put on ourselves instead of the uh, microphone on the camera. So that should help increase the audio quality. I know I plan on using it for some vlogs because I don't know if you've noticed, like when I point the camera at something and I'm talking, the audio is not as good because the they're called boom mics. You know, they you point them to a direction and they pick up the audio well there. But anything behind the, the microphone, it doesn't pick up very well. So that should help. So one of the big benefits that we have had from moving everything over on this side is that we've been able to put these shelves in between the workstations, which as uh, we have used as our cue uh for the listing so like when david's going through remembering removing stickers from everything he puts it on these shelves here and uh and then even some over here and then whitney will go through a couple times a week and she'll sort items into a couple different categories one is the boxes that go up front so the boxes that go up front get this pink sticker there uh, when David does uh, boxes, it gets the orange sticker, meaning that they haven't been sorted. Uh, that So that way, when Dedrick and Bob, or even when Whitney are going to list, uh, that they don't pull the wrong box. They pull the boxes that they're supposed to. So after Whitney sorts, she sorts them into the boxes that go up front. Uh, also, piggybacks, we use the term piggyback as meaning that whenever we have listed an item previously and it already has a listing created, that we don't create a new listing for that same exact item. We call it a piggyback, meaning that if we get 10 of one item, but we get it in at different times, say we got five in one box, then five in another box. Well, we're not going to create a separate listing for the five. We're just going to add it on to the listing that we already created. So it's called a piggyback. Uh, and uh, then she also sorts them into new listings, which is what Dedrick and Bob have been working on. And they are getting the green stickers. The number don't matter. It's just some stickers that we use from the old warehouse uh, that had prices on it when we used to do the color-coded uh, prices. Uh, so that's the process. And without it being this way, we wouldn't have been able to do so. Uh, and it's allowed us to be a lot more organized as me as, you know, doing the purchasing. It's allowed me to understand how much, one, how much work is getting done. Uh, two, how much I need to order to make sure that the queues are staying full.
So we got the pallets in and I'm excited. Uh, I don't really like these sunglasses, so don't judge me, but they came in off of a box or a pallet and I always need backup sunglasses. I don't know if you know anybody out there is like me, but I'll wear a pair, then I'll set it down. I have no idea where I set it down. And then I'll get another pair and then I'll wear that and then I'll set it down somewhere and then I'll lose it and then I'll find the original pair. So this is one of the pairs that I have in rotation. I just quit buying sunglasses because I have no idea where they're gonna be. But here's the palettes here. Looks like there's a Keurig model something there. Ooh, an Instapot right there. That's sweet. And uh, it's like a, a fan down in there. And these palettes were only uh, $325 a piece. There were four palettes. Uh, we got a deluxe pool cleaner. That's sweet. We just sold one of those not too long ago for some good money. And it sold very, very quickly. And then looking at this palette here, got a couple big boxes. It goes, a, it's like a baby thing down there. Lucid. I think that's like a mattress or something. And then over here, it's like a gate or something. That may be too heavy to lift up. And then uh, food dehydrator. And that's a big mystery box right there. That's going to be exciting. And then looking at these, looks like we've got a chandelier. Looks like Ashley lampshades. Hopefully they're both in there. Ooh, a Serta. Wow. Serta full-size mattress. I'm going to get my phone real quick and uh, scan this sucker. Uh, because that could be an expensive mattress. Serta is expensive. Granted, doesn't mean that we're going to sell it because it seems like we have trouble selling expensive mattresses. $399. Look at that. <laughs> and there's no way that it has been used because there's no way that it would go back in that box if it had been. So if that's true and that is what it is, then this one item paid for the entire pallet. Granted, we probably sell for 300 bucks, but still, that's a big portion of the pallet. And then looking at this pallet here, looks like we got a memory foam mattress topper. Uh, was a grasshopper. Ah! Uh, goes a faux uh, end table, marble table. It's got a UPC on it. I'm going to scan it. It's a $95 table right there. Isn't that sweet? Oh, it's exciting. I love pallet days. It's always, ooh, a Sunjo. What is that? Sunjo. We've got Sunjo like outdoor equipment stuff. There we go. He's going to scan. That could be a electric lawnmower. Hopefully it has not been used because those sell extremely well here. Oh, I'm so excited, dude. Oh, I just want to get this stuff unboxed. Uh, we're not going to unbox one until tomorrow. So the great thing about these is we plan on trying to buy more of these because they are such a great deal. Uh, and we, when we buy a half truckload, we can get an even better deal. And they come, they're coming from Kansas City um kansas and it's only like six and a half hours away from us so i can get 12 pallets shipped from there for like 650 dollars and they will use a lift gate uh to unload the pallets for me which is a super i mean that's that's crazy good deal good prices so we can get a half truckload delivered for like 35, 36, 3700 dollars, somewhere around in there. So it could be a good opportunity for us to be able to keep our retail shelves stocked full, get the sales on Facebook Marketplace. And then I don't know, maybe we'll sell some pallets. You know, if we have extra, maybe if people locally are wanting to buy a pallet, then we'll we'll do that also. But it is hotter than you know what out here. Uh, it's supposed to be like heat index this week of like 108, 109 degrees. It's not there yet, but it's a good 100 degrees out here today. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the shop there so I can get cooled off and then get ready to head home for the day because we've got some friends coming to visit us tonight that I'm excited to see uh, because uh, I haven't seen, I've only seen them once this uh, year, but they uh, live overseas. So I'm excited to see them. the pallets fit in here a lot better than I thought that they would. I mean, granted, we're still got to move some stuff around uh, before we unbox tomorrow, but we're not going to take them to the storage unit like I thought we were going to. Uh, but I've got two right there, then one here, which this is where we normally film. And then we've got one here. And then I did end up taking down the kids, uh, or I guess not the kids, but our little break table. It usually goes right there because we still have that one pallet left there of small box stuff that we need to process and take up front. But I know the kids are not going to be here tomorrow. Uh, I mean, they will be, but only for like maybe an hour. So they're not going to need the table tomorrow. So tomorrow when we film, uh, and I may even just go ahead and list this pallet tomorrow and then move that pallet out of the way uh, and unbox it. I don't know exactly, but I'll probably go ahead and list one of these in the morning tomorrow. Go ahead and get stocked up um, in the retail space uh, and get some new listings on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, and then I don't know what, I'll have to figure out which pallet I want to unbox because uh, they all look really good and really interesting. Maybe we'll unbox the one that has the Serta mattress on it because I don't know, just something about that pallet excites me. So that's where I'm going to leave you guys today. I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, until next time. Peace.